Pure, Furious Water Defenders, and the Army Black Mamba Lady Troopers. Set one belong to the Lady Troopers, Coach Ronnie. Alas, they get tired on, but then seemed like Army was composed and they controlled that one. Kaya na medyo mahapon yung Tanya Pure. Tama yan. The best part of the first set para sa Water Defenders were the first two points. And then the Lady Troopers found their mark. They went up by two, protected the lead as high as six. And I like the stability of Ivy Perez. When push came to shove, she activated the correct hitters. But more than that, defensively, they were also in step. Don Sabali Pure, who was very calm. Imagine those many points. Isang beses lang ang error nila compared sa Ani para sa Lady Troopers. But in the end, even if the car was also able to compete well with Ivy Perez, eventually to none. Mga highlights na nangyari in that set. They had a good start talking about the Lady Troopers. Went ahead against the Purest Water Defenders. An early lead for them. And it proved to be difficult for the Valley Pure Water Defenders to mount a comeback. They had a few runs. But then, of course, the army had answers almost every time that Valley Pure gave a scare. The attacks they had earlier, Kasugod also provided some spark through the middle. The Tom Valley Pure, but Topino or Das also as a late addition into the second set provided some spark para sa Army Lady Troopers. She was there. Thank you, Alexis. And there you have it, Ivy Perez, our best player of the game, providing excellent sets as well as attacks. Na bagit na rin coach Ronnie, hindi ganun ka. The last na makita natin yung setter ay part of the top three scorers, but Ivy Perez doing the damage para sa army. That's a double-bladed sword that Ivy Perez brought today. But you also have to give credit where credit is due. And I thought the water defenders did what they had to do to win the third set. But eventually, pagdating sa dulo, pagdating sa huling puntos, yun na hindi nila nakuha. Perhaps experience. They will pick up some learning tools to be able to use in their last game here in the classification phase. Because this is their best outing so far. Yeah. And that's something that they can uh, use as a launch pad patungo sa pag-arap nila sa Cherry Tigo. Ganun din naman ang magiging tangka ng Army Lady Troopers. Dahil ang kanilang, kanilang huling laban ay sa Cherry Tigo crossovers na kailangan pang humarap sa Water Defenders at sa Black Mambo Army para magkaalam ng silang pang ito. So yun ang pang walo, 19 lineup. Three set points nga yung nasave doon ng Army Black Mamba diba? Lady Troopers from 24 to 21. Na-extend yung ating set number three at sila pa yung nanalo. Hindi lang three set points, meron pang isa. Yep. Dahil nakuha ulit nila. But taking a look at the numbers, I think the numbers uh, does not really reflect yung uh, entire picture ng buong laban. I thought the Bali Pure Water Defenders had a very good outlook. Kahit na sila yung nalamangan, lagi nakakabalik. And in the end, it just boils down, I believe, to more experience and more stability and composure para dito sa Lady Troopers to eke out a three-set win. Once again, this is a good launch pad para sa Bali Pure to play their final match in the next two days. Para naman sa Lady Troopers' first win yeah. of the conference, trying to finish in the seventh spot. One rank lower than the, their sixth-place finish doon sa 2021 TVL Open Conference.